video is a quick one on how to make this amazing magic coffee whipped cream. You're going to need a half a cup of sugar, quarter cup of the instant coffee, a stand mixer, and a quarter cup of cold water. Again, pause it right now. Here is everything that you need. I would recommend using a stand mixer instead of a hand mixer. If you're lazy like me, it's just the way to do it. And this, this cream or whipped cream is quite amazing. I needed seven of these little uh, shots of the Folgers um, instant coffee. You can use any kind of instant coffee. I've read online as well that if you use decaf, it is less bitter because this cream is a little bit bitter. Um, but if you really love the coffee taste, I would say, hey, go with the original. So there it is, quarter cup, placing it in my stand mixer. And a little hack because I've made this cream now twice is on four or five on the stand mixer, I want the grounds to get broken down a little bit before I add the rest of the magic to it, um, just because it's a little coarser of a product. And now, as you can see, I'm gonna add the sugar in, just to incorporate, break down the little sugars and the little instant coffee and all the razzle dazzle. And now, the ice cold water. Ice in a cup quarter cup, there you go, and just splash it in the mixer. Now for seven minutes straight, either on a setting of six to 10 for a KitchenAid, just let this thing go. It could be vigorous, whatever it is, but it's going to take about seven to 10 minutes, depending on the power of your mixer, um, to see this actually transform. And I have a KitchenAid, um, just the regular line one, like the artisan or whatever it's called. And it takes about seven minutes for this to build into a whipped cream. Um, here it is. It's on six. Now, I actually thought that this wasn't going to work. And I was so captivated by all these different YouTube videos that I'm like, I have to really see if this will or will not work. And as you can see, it goes from a a dark brown to a darker brown, and then it's gonna be transforming to a lighter brown. So when you get to this color, that's when you know um, you're in business. And I've sped up this video a little bit because really, do you wanna watch seven minutes of mixing? I don't think so. So this is about the seven minute point. We have some very stiff peaks. Look at this, beautiful. You can use this to top cakes. You could put this in hot coffee or iced coffee, um, even like a brownie or um, even like a cake. If you need a whipped cream and a pinch, this is three ingredients, no eggs, no dairy included, and it's really, really tasty. I really like it, especially if you love coffee. This is definitely for you. You could possibly even make a tiramisu with this. Here's one I made on Sunday. Look, it's still holding shape. So the one on the left is from Sunday, and that's the other one from today. I made an iced coffee for both myself and my husband, so there's very little left from today's batch. And here it is. I'm just making a really quick instant coffee just to show you how beautiful um, this whipped cream is. So I'm putting a base of ice, a little bit of um, iced coffee, or you could put even milk, depending if you really like the coffee taste or not. And here is my beautiful whipped cream. There it is. And I'm just going to take a generous scoop and put it on top and then mix it. And I'll tell you something, one shot of this, it's like taking a shot of espresso. It's really going to hit you and really make you like wide awake. My husband loves this too. So I went really heavy with his and put it in a Hello Kitty cup for extra flavor as well. But it's a really unique type of whipped cream. I was delighted by this. If you try it out, let me know in the comments. But I mean, it's pretty cool and extra coffee for me. And look how it builds to the different la layers of that. It is just beautiful. This would also be fantastic for a tiramisu and really really, you know, it would make it really stand out too with that nice coffee taste. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.